life is not worth living if you can't have a curry. Like, just look at that. Look at that. Right, brothers and sisters, welcome back. This week, an absolute classic, Thai green curry. Let's unpack it. Thai green curry is one of those rock star curries that stands out and we all know it. So what is it that sets it apart? Well, it starts with the aromatics and their unique collection. The second element is the most obvious, is that it's just that beautiful, vibrant green. And then the third element is that a proper Thai curry is spicy. The biggest problem with the majority of Thai green curries that are out there is A, they're not spicy, and B, they get cooked too long and it turns into that pallid, pallid, is that a word? Pallid. It's close to a word. Yeah, like I said, pallid. And so the greenness just goes into this pallid, sort of like almost pale, opaque green, which is like such a missed opportunity. I'm gonna show you how to chef up your Thai green curry and take it to the next level. First up, we've got to split the milk. Put 600 mils of coconut milk into your wok. Turn the heat on and start bringing it up to a medium to high heat. You need to add to that two Thai red shallots, bruise those, whack them in. Chop the top off your lemongrass because it's quite firm and dry, and then bruise one stalk and drop it in. Four cardamom pods, bruise so the little seeds can fall out and drop those in. A nice piece of cinnamon, two kaffir lime leaves, make sure they're bruised and drop those in. Bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and let that tick away for 10 minutes so the milk can split. I'm gonna make a chicken Thai green curry, but you could use prawns instead, or tofu is delicious. Whichever way you wanna skin it, it's flipping delicious. I'm gonna do this a little bit different. I'm gonna keep it whole, the chicken breast, and score it and sear it. Now, that's not authentic, it's not traditional, but before you start losing your shit and saying, it's chicken breast chunks, traditionally, Thai green curry will be cooked with the whole of the chicken on the bone, so just calm down, yeah? This is my vibe. Right. Let's sort the chicken. You're gonna need a whole lemongrass, a good thumb of chopped galangal, three chopped red Thai shallots, six to eight garlic cloves, two kaffir lime leaves, a good thumb of chopped turmeric, half a bunch of coriander stalks, then about 10 small bird's eye green chilies, and then two or three big green chilies, and four cardamom pods crushed so you can get the pods out of them. Put all these ingredients into your blitzer and blitz the living daylights out of them. Okay, people, we're nearly there. The paste and the baby aubergines are 80% cooked. They've just got to be finished off. All I've got to do is take the aromatics out of the coconut milk, put the chicken in to just poach through so it's cooked through, add the paste and the aubergines in, and then I'm just going to season it with fish sauce and then we're ready to rock. For the Chefy McSheferson Thai basil oil, what you do is you grab a load of Thai basil, being careful to just take the leaves and the very fine stems, but you're not taking these big slightly reddish stalks, they're not going in. And then you add a neutral oil and then you blitz it down for a good five to 10 minutes. You want to feel heat beginning to build up in the blitzer. And what that's doing is it's slightly cooking the leaves and that brings out the color. Filter it through a very fine sieve and some muslin cloth and you're off to the races. Now just look at that color. Isn't it worth going through that procedure to get that color and get it absolutely delicious? That's done now. You just cook the chicken for another sort of five or six minutes so it's cooked all the way through. And now it's about garnishing it up. So I'm gonna finish off with some bean sprouts. You don't need to. You can put a grate of, of lime zest in there and a squeeze if you wanna. Some red chili gives great presentation. and It's a nice alternative bite and I've got some coriander, but you could use Thai basil, whatever you've got left. But most importantly, I've got my Thai basil oil to dress on the top. And that, my brothers and sisters, is Thai green curry done. Okay, right, let's get into this. The colour straight away is just like, yeah, I'm not the usual Thai green curry, mate. Right. Oh, it's so good. 
It's got everything I'm looking for in a Thai green curry. It's got grab my attention, stop me in my tracks, beautiful vibrant green. It's got the right level of spice. And then the oil just adds this really almost zingy vibeness that goes over that's fragrant. That is so good. So what did you think of it? Are you gonna cook it? Let me know in the comment box below what you thought of this recipe. And if you are gonna cook it, you know the drill, at John Quarter on Instagram, I need to see the pictures, yeah? <clears throat> oh, fucking hell, it's hot. Oh.